God decided to create female and male, he could have created one. God hasn't created male and female. God has created the dimension of interaction that leads to creation of new dimension. You call it male and female. You have parts that it gives and you have parts that it takes. If everything was equal in the strength, there would have been no creation. It would have been just a field. The difference in different amounts or strength creates a condition of interaction. And that interaction, you call it. But it's a man's vision. And we have creatures who carry both and they can replicate themselves. And this is what I say is something to for man to understand deeper about himself. So there is no division. I mean, you look at it this way, you call it Adam and Eve. Is Eve any less than Adam? Or Adam has some facets that Eve doesn't have, and Eve has some facets that Adam doesn't have, and the interaction. If you stand in the middle, you call it love. That leads the interaction of two fields to something, we call it the creation, the apple, the human. The understanding of it is important, not to go into rhetoric and all the fantasy things that's being put on. And uh, if you look at an electron and a proton, the proton is the atom, electron is Eve. Is Eve the proton in another dimension of it? Because they have to be a balance that they can interact. And more or less, the interaction of the fields of the electron and proton creates a lot of materials, which then get absorbed within the proton, you call it any other name you like it. If you look at it, in the process of creation, there cannot be any difference. This man who has made this, when you have a proton, and you have an electron, they have to have something in common in interaction that it leads to the, what I call, interaction of the fields. One way you done it. Doesn't matter how you look at it. And these fields interaction leads to creation of something. Leads to creation of something for man to see. On Earth, we call it electron, we call it copper and zinc, all the time. These interactions create fields, plasma fields, which some will be absorbed by this, and some will be absorbed by this. In the solar system, we call it, when you have it, the Earth and the Sun. The interaction of the fields creates materials, plasmatic condition, that some of it gets absorbed back to the Sun instantaneously, and some of it, with the inertia of the Earth, becomes material on Earth. There's no difference between the electron proton. We get continuous production of plasmas from the interaction of the electron and proton, which gets absorbed within it, and then you call it, in the present science, up clock, down clock. This is the same thing as we call it copper and zinc. There is no difference. And then you change this to Adam and Eve. The interaction of the field of them leads to creation of what you call love creation of the man, creation of the life within life. I made man in the image of myself because part of me is within the man. Would we, when become knowledgeable enough, go into the RNA side of the plasma, through it we'll see the two creators. And answer is yes. Look into it and you shall see. And I'll be there to greet you.
but it needs the knowledge. It needs the clarity of understanding. As long as you look in the dimension of physicality, you see electron jumping everywhere and nothing. If you scale it up, you will see the same, but you will see what comes in, earth, gold, and the rest, but you don't see the plasma you feed back to the sun. From this it's the same with the Adam and Eve, the creator and created. And then what, how much of these fields are fed back to the creator to learn from the love of what is created? If that love was man, how much of that love becomes part of the creator as it created the man? Now we understand the true essence of creation. We don't need any religion. Because nobody can lie to us, covering it under the color of Adam and Eve, and everything else which has been said for man to understand. You do experiment in the lab to replicate. The replication is the structure of the earth, the atom, and Adam and Eve. It's all the same. No difference. How many scientists have told you, when you look at the atomic structure, how much of electron and proton, they rotate around each other, but this rotation has a field interaction. What love has been created between the two, and how much of it goes to the proton, and how much of it goes to electron that they keep that love relationship. And it's true that the, for the first time, when Eve found the condition of manifestation of the physicality and the beauty of it, chose Earth to be the birthplace of its manifestation. Man needs a lot to understand. And thank you, Mr. Kesh. Um, this brought a lot of understanding. Uh, it was fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? I shall be calling today. Well, there, <clears throat> there are always uh, more questions, Mr. Kesh, but uh, sometimes we do have to draw things to an end. Is that your preference right now? Would you like to? Do you have any other question? Um, well, we definitely have some questions in the Q&A here. We don't have any more attendees with hands up, but uh, we have Liko who is asking, can the mind reading technology that you use to fly the ship be used to read another person's mind from a distance? We don't read mind. That's your understanding, so that's that be it. We interact with the fields of the universe. And then how you interact with another soul and what you gather from it is your problem, is your understanding. We, the, the reading of the mind is the state of those who want to read to abuse. Interaction of the fields of the souls is what both understand at the same time of interaction. Then nobody can abuse. It's a big difference. We have not given a system to governments to control mind. We have the system delivered that the governments understand you can never control the soul of them. The mind is a lower level. Then this gives for man to understand is equal in all levels. 